Hey guys, today I'm going to do my November favorites. Like, November went fast, so freaking fast. So I'm back with a favorites video. Um, so let's get to it. Alright, so first things that I've been loving this month so far is this wild growth hair oil. Um, as you can see, I, I am giving my hair a break. I'm using a protective hairstyle. Um, I had cut up an old wig and made it into a bob, but yeah, so I have a video um, up already how I did this, and I will have a video how I did this lip situation too, if you want to. But anyway, so um, I've been using this for at least three or two months. I like it so far, um, but I haven't seen a huge difference yet. But I see a little f bit of fullness just in this area. I think I put a lot in here, but it's kind of leaking. But so far, I do like it. It's not a big change, but, you know, it's all right. It's all right. All right, so another favorite of mine is the Smooth and Shine Foaming Wrap Lotion. It looks just like this. I think I showed this last month as well. Um, during that time, I was wearing my wig, but the next day, I was wearing my natural hair, so, anyways, but, I like to use this when I wear my wigs, um, I use this underneath my wig, so when I mold my hair down, um, I use gel, and I like to use this, um, I don't know, it kind of keeps it flat, so I like to use this, and I like to use the foamy lotion on top of here, to basically calm my hair down, so I won't have bad flyaways and things like that so it does a good job and I didn't put any more on my hair today well I just did it this morning but this is what it looks like it looks very nice and flat so I like this product right here all right another product that I like is this Elf, uh makeup and setting spray I don't know if I showed this last month I don't know I can't remember but it looks just like this Okay, this is like $3 at my school bookstore, drugstore, whatever, and they had, the, I said drugstore, not that, um, bookstore, and they have um, e.l.f. products, so I got this up, this was $3, um, it does a pretty good mm. job, I like this, for you to get the your money's worth or to keep your makeup intact just a little bit you have to spray a lot so um i pretty much use half of it but i do like this and i will purchase this again all right another favorite of mine is this martin dvd i have the whole i have the fifth season so i have all of them some of them are in my one of them is in my laptop right now, but I have this one, this one, this one, and I have other movies that I have. Anyways, but I like to watch Martin. Martin is one of those shows that you can watch all the time and you won't get bored. Um, I know you watch like, I, okay, his show is like, Every generation can laugh too. You know what I mean? Like, like it's certain TV shows. It's like okay, it's funny for that generation. Shows like Martin, My Wife and Kids, Good Times too. Good Times too. Um, you know those are the types of shows that you can play over and over, and people won't get bored. And I love My Wife and Kids as well. I need to buy that DVD as well. But Martin is one of my favorite TV shows. I can watch the same episode over and over and over again and not get bored. I will still laugh like this was my first time watching it. Like, I love freaking Martin. So, I have the fifth season. That's like the last season, I think. So, I'm planning to get all of them, the one through four. So, I'm planning to get those. But, um, I saw a little deal on Amazon it was like $50 I'm like do I want to spend $50 on that maybe <laughs> but yes I love Martin I'm planning to get my wife and kids um it's another show that I like as well my wife and kids and like I'm in college and my cable here I don't know what's wrong with it it's acting stupid some of the channels 
it would just delete or something like that. So, I watch Martin and that's my show. Oh, and Full House. Oh, another favorite is Full House. I love Full House. I loved it when I was young as well, but it comes on Nick at Night and I look forward to watching it. Like, I love Full House. Back in the day, I was watching it too, but now it brings back memories and I'm in love with it again. So, Full House, I've been watching that. Um, what else I've been loving this month? Um, I'm just popping. Um, it's like the regular kind of shows. Um, you know, I watch from normal shows like Married to Medicine. I like that. The Real Housewives. I like that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's all I remember. I do have music, but I still have some other stuff that I need to show y'all. But my favorite music this month, I have been listening to a lot of R&B. I do like R&B a lot, but sometimes I like to listen to other types of music as well. But lately, these past three weeks, I have been listening to Kiki Wyatt's new album. She just came out, she came out with it about a week ago, and I have been in love with her her album my favorite song on her new album i think it's her new album i think um it's anything oh my gosh like that is a real r&b song i don't know if it's from an old one but i just been listening to her songs i don't care if it's an old album like i've been living for her voice like she can sing and she's one of those artists who are very underrated and it's like wow um, there's so many different R&B singers who are underrated that you guys probably don't know about. And, like, Latoya Leckett, her Lady Lady Love album, oh my gosh, like, it's true R&B. She came out with that in 2009, and I, I had bought it in 2009, the um, album, the CD, and I love it so much, and it's like, that's true R&B. Um, what else I have been listening to? Um, K Michelle as well, but like K Michelle is like one of those people. It's like you like her song, but you can't really take her seriously uh, because the way she acts. But I love her, but it's like, mm, but I listen to her songs as well. I like the song Ain't You, many others. Um, but yeah. So, those are the people I've been obsessed of. I've been listening to other types of music as well, but this has been like the same songs that I've been listening to for like three years now. But, yeah, so, <laughs> those are the songs that I've been obsessed with. So, yeah, um, I'm trying to find something else that, I have all this stuff. Um, Okay. I have been loving this mascara and this is the Max Factor X Masterpiece Max and this is the High Volume Definition Mascara and it looks just like this. Um, I actually got this in a influence through box and this is how the one looks. It looks very nice you guys and I have it on but um, I didn't put on a lot. Like I'm one of those people I like to put on a lot of mascara um but today i want to keep it neutral with my makeup so i can have this bold lip but i could have put more mascara but yeah so i love mascaras like a perfect mascara can make and break your look and i love this i also like my cover girl boss slash drama i still have that mascara as well as i can feel for it but I still love that mascara as well. But this, I've been loving this. It does give me that high volume. But it's like, it kind of, I don't know. It kind of gives me definition. It kind of like separates all the lash. If that makes sense. And the false lash trauma, it kind of gives me that length. And that butterfly look. Because it's like a thicker one. This is like a thinner one. Yes, yeah, so I like this as well. I'm obsessed with mascaras. Like, you gotta have mascaras. Um, so what else I have been obsessed with? Now, this is something that I cannot live without. 
and I need the charger too. So this is a power bank. And I have two of them. I have another one, but I cannot find it. But anyway, so I have this. And it's red. I should have got pink, but I mean, as long as it charge my phone, I don't care what kind of color it is. So it's red. Um, basically, we all know what this is. You just charge your phone. And you get rid of your, your phone, your tablet, whatever. And this is perfect. Um, I'm planning to buy me a, it's like a higher, kind of, it's kind of like a, I don't know. It's kind of like a higher power thing. I don't know, but it costs a lot of money. I think it's like $25 and it comes with more, more than one of these, if that makes sense. But yeah, so I'm planning to get that. Um, but yeah, so I have to have that every time that I leave out my room, go to the store, because my phone dies like that. So yeah, so, um, I think this is the end. Oh, no, 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 I have some more things. Some more things. Alright, so I have been loving these Great Value Blueberry Waffles. Oh my gosh, these taste so freaking good. They taste so freaking good. I think I got one left. <laughs> That's what they look like. Oh my gosh, they taste so good. Do not get the Ego Blueberry Waffles. They don't have enough blueberry in there. It kind of reminds me of a waffle with one or two blueberries. That's how much it is. One or two blueberries, and that's what it is. Um, the waffle cone. And it's like, it's not enough blueberry in there. So, I do not recommend you guys to spend your money on the Ego blueberry waffles. You waste your money. Trust me. It does not taste good. But these, the great value ones... You would thank me later. Trust me. But I like these. And it has some flavor to it. And I look forward to eating breakfast. So blueberry waffles it is. Um, another um, item that I've been loving this month. Is the pop tarts. Um, I like the cookies and cream. I like these better. I like the cookies and cream. Um, milkshake. Confetti. And it's something else. It's something else that I like. But those are the kind of uh, flavors that I like the most. And I like the other kinds, but those are my favorites. So, I think this is the end of this video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!